Well, everything is part of learning and burning. So, my old restriction was a seven inch, and I did just like Wayne did, just some little tabs, so it sits right down in there. And I've had issues holding the char bed since I put that thing in. I've also had issues with, um, it seems like lower power. Uh, I can only get it up to about 60 miles an hour. And uh, for whatever reason, once I get to about 60, temperatures in the rails start spiking. Um, I've seen 650 degrees cruising at 55 miles an hour. So I know that my truck should be able to pull a seven inch restriction if everybody in the 318 and 360 Dakotas are doing it. So I got a uh, dually Dodge rotor, cut down the outside to 11 inches so it'd fit down in between the nozzles, and I cut out the bolt pattern, still seven inch, so I'm same size restriction. But I've brought it from 16 inches from the nozzles, I'm going to 11 inches to the nozzles from restriction to nozzle, that measurement. And uh, rebuild the char bed and light it up and head for home and see how it does now here i've got a bag of fines this is everything that i have sifted this is going to form hopefully the ash cone down around each side more or less copying how uh christian does his char bed break in but he uses uh wood ash i'm just using my cleanings that have been uh i would call them tailings because they've already been sifted I'm going to fill in all the way around, get a cone formed, and then in this bag here, I have the other side of my sifting, so all my big char. And we'll make up the char bed, bring it all the way up to the nozzles, we should be good to go. If I uh, use this method, turn your blowers on, and that'll suck down all of the excess dust and uh, prevent you from getting uh, carbon boogers, is what I call them. So there we go. It's not really a defined cone, but anything that has fallen through doesn't need to be there. So it's sitting down there on the grate. So I'm going to go ahead and shake the grate real quick and uh, start loading in the charcoal up to the nozzles. My very basic shaker. Find a couple holes. Give everything, oh, we got a little wood chunk down there. Yeah, that's fine. It'll be fine. Now we're ready for some charcoal. And that is the quick and dirty way to rebuild a char bed. Not too terribly dirty because I have the blowers running. Yeah, so we're full right up above the nozzles. Now it's all going to settle in uh, once we start driving down the road. So it will, you know, drop quite a bit. Um, but we're ready to light up after work and produce some gas, throw some wood on, head for home. <laughs> 